Hey, you ready for that? Shit is the 4th of July, 2019. And there are a couple of things that I just wanted to add on here in regards to that video from yesterday. We we're talking about, for one, they had the Arch of Triumph in the mall last September. Uh, and it turns out that they actually had a life-size replica of the Arch of Triumph set up in Washington, D.C. exactly a hundred years ago in 1919. And there it is. I mean, crazy, man. Life-size. And they uh, knew that it was only going to be temporary. And that just adds to the craziness of it. I mean, that's a guy standing. Look at all these guys up here. This thing is pretty huge. And they put it up for a parade, basically. This is insane. And now Trump's having his giant parade, whatever he's doing in D.C., right? And they had that arch set up in September between the 26th and 30th, which if we go from the middle of that, the 28th, it brings us out 279 days to today, which in the Greek is unrepentant. <laughs> and it also happens to be just nine months and six days ago. Interestingly enough, 39 weeks and six days. <laughs> 6,696 hours. You can go look at this stuff. It just is shown to me, so I show it to you. It's all relevant. I just don't know how it all fits together. You know what I mean? And he's speaking at the Lincoln Memorial. Just remember that. The memorial before the reflecting pool and the monument in the Capitol Dome. We went through all that stuff yesterday. Okay? Now, check this out. Okay? The last president that addressed the country on the 4th of July from the Washington Mall was Harry Truman. Interestingly enough, Truman was the last president to do what Trump is doing now. And of course, the, the similarities in their names are just uncanny. Not to mention how it's almost triumph, Trump, Truman. Truman is in the Truman Show. You get it? He was the progenitor, if you will, of NASA. He's the one that put it in place. I mean, seriously, and yes, he was a high Freemason, of course, but that only equates to this Kabbalah, this Anakian magic, this sorcery that we just see emerging all around us, and it all gets its roots from the synagogue of Satan, which communicate and worship with the fallen ones, who they believe are the true God that they want to release from the pit. Okay? I'm not kidding you guys. Again, really. They, they equate to today's Jewish and world leadership. That's who it is at its spiritual roots. You can't deny this stuff. Well, you can, but I don't recommend it. Truman, interestingly, was the president who recognized Israel. And get a load of this. He recognized Israel literally 11 minutes, May 14th, 1948, 11 minutes after it declared itself a nation. And if you go and look at the um, Israel Declaration, I had it up here, but I don't. It was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon in Israel that they declared their independence. And if you subtract the 7 hours, it brings you to 9 o'clock. 11 minutes after 9 o'clock in the morning, he recognized Israel. <laughs> it's just crazy. And then 69 years later, Trump recognizes Jerusalem as the eternal capital of Israel. Do you see a pattern here? I do. Truman was the one who authorized the, quote, atomic fire mass sacrifice bomb. And Trump has been initiating nuclear proliferation. They're building their stockpiles all around the world. Truman, again, with the NASA. Trump just loves NASA. You know, he, he salvages the Truman while the Abraham Lincoln is going to the Gulf. <laughs> Seriously. And don't forget, it's at the Lincoln Memorial because this is the craziness right here. I was showing you yesterday how between 1776, the birth of our nation, to 1969, where this incredible dark spirit dump occurred, right? 1969, you see what I'm saying? Which equated to the 13, but 
This is something that was revealed to me this morning that I found very interesting. On the 4th of July in the year 1826, two presidents, John Quincy Adams and Thomas Jefferson, both died on this very day. Seriously, and that just happens to be 193 years ago. And the 243, the two presidents, the second and third president die on the fourth. Do you see the two, three, the four? And the two, three, four in the Hebrew is a memorial. And in the Greek, it's defilement, which is what they're doing. They're defilement defiling God's word they're defiling the name of Jesus it's just insane you guys 243 two three uh, it's just insanity but this right here is what I wanted to show you because that is not a coincidence I don't know what it means but for two presidents to die on that day exactly that long ago after we were just discussing these things yesterday okay I mean I just can't dismiss this you know what I mean and it means to twist you know uh, I don't know guys pray for President Trump because this doesn't look like a very um, good omen if you know what I mean anything can happen and anything cannot happen we could see the alien invasion. We could see a real invasion. We could see an assassination. We could see fake all of the above. Okay? Don't forget how much resources they have to pull these types of events off and completely steer the public down the wrong path. 9-11 <clears throat> <clears throat> ring a bell. So never underestimate the enemy. And remember, it's a spiritual war. You must have the full armor. Okay? Only available through the Holy Spirit of God by Jesus Christ. Praise His name. Call on His name if you don't know Him. Because these things are coming upon the earth. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God.